indoor entertainment this week. NBC is bringing year-round Olympic programming to the United States. After years of trying, the U.S. and international Olympic committees have agreed with NBC on a package that will offer year-round Olympic programming focused on U.S. athletes, the parties announced Thursday. NBC will watch a new U.S. television network branded Olympic Channel home of Team USA in the second half of 2017. That channel will complement the IOC's Olympic Channel, which launched on a worldwide digital platform after the Rio Games. The programming will include archival footage and documentaries along with original Team USA programming contributed by the USOC. The IOC is planning on producing 250 hours of original programming per year. That programming will be available to the NBC network and the USOC will also produce U.S. focused content. Dolly Parton says a star-studded telethon for those affected by recent wildfires in her native Tennessee has brought in about $9 million. Parton headlined the Tuesday night event that was broadcast on several cable networks and live-streamed online. Parton says in a statement that all donations have yet to be counted, but the total stands at around $9 million. The total is expected to rise in the coming days as mail donations are counted and the telethon is rebroadcast. Broadcast. The money goes to the Dollywood Foundation's My People Fund. It will provide $1,000 each month for six months to families who lost their primary residence in the fires. The fires in Tennessee Sevier County spread to more than 2,500 structures and killed 14 people. Lewis Tomlinson's stepdad Dan Deacon took to Twitter Tuesday to share a message from the One Direction alum's late mother, Johanna Deacon, who died of leukemia December 7th. He said Johanna asked for me to send this after she died. She wanted to thank you all and to let you know that you have been amazing right from the start. He added, you changed Lewis's life, but also her life. Your support now is as strong, if not stronger than ever. The Deacon's family said goodbye to Johanna in the early hours of Wednesday, December 7th. She was 42 years old. This has been your entertainment this week. I'm Alicia Cook for News 46.